Many tend to think about various different things when discussing the importance a single element has on a franchise. To some, the most important is its origin, as without it, the series would simply cease to exist. For others, it can be the title that brought the most exposure that allowed the franchise to flourish. There are a plethora more reasons as to why something could be considered important, especially when it comes to the Megami Tensei franchise. Many would think that Digital Devil Story would fit this description, as it was the story that paved the way for Atlas to create a thrilling and unique JRPG series that many have come to love. Others may think that it would be the first Shin Megami Tensei, as that was the game that set the foundation of what the series would become. Some may think it would be Persona 5, as it broke sale records and gave Atlas a solid footing in the Western market. While others would say it might be Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne for its revolutionary storytelling, as well as its improvement to the gameplay formula. While all of these are valid points and contenders for a title so prestigious, I personally feel as though only one game can claim the title. This is Shin Megami Tensei If. Shin Megami Tensei IF released for the Super Famicom on October 28th, 1994. It centers around the story of Karuzaka high school student Hideo Hazama, who is severely bullied by his peers. One day, in order to exact revenge on his tormentors, Hazama attempts to summon a demon from a realm known as the Expanse. The summoning goes wrong, and Hazama is possessed by the demon, declaring himself as the Demon Emperor and throws the school into the Demon's Realm. Though you don't play the game as this student, you play as an unnamed protagonist, either male or female, who gets trapped in this school along with other students. It becomes your mission to attempt to escape this dimension with the help of your classmates, as well as the mysterious Demon Summoning Program. The Shin Megami Tensei spin-off title was created as the team wanted to try something new. Rather than focusing on large-scale environments, the team wanted to focus on creating threats in a small environment as the game's director, Koji Okada, felt that he had reached the limit of what he could do with large-scale worlds in the previous Shin Megami Tensei games. Though this would change dungeon crawling from various environments to only those that existed within the school grounds, the team would stick to the main gameplay formula that the series is known for. Shin Megami Tensei If met average reception from critics. Reviewers enjoyed the music and story of the title, but felt as though that the graphics were dated and that the game was too difficult, especially for those newer to the series. Many fans of the series were not phased by the difficulty of the title, with reception from them being overwhelmingly positive, as they particularly enjoyed the high school setting of the title. So you're probably sitting there thinking, but Resident, what about any of this makes IF important at all in the first place? Well, you're right in thinking that Shin Megami Tensei IF is just some mediocre entry in the franchise that doesn't deserve the title that I'm trying to claim it has, especially after critics weren't all too crash hot on the title. However, I did mention that it was very popular amongst fans of the series, and this popularity was enough for Atlas to pursue ideas that originated in IF further. The modern day setting as well as exploration with your high school comrades would ultimately lead to the creation of Persona. Persona plays much like other Shin Megami Tensei games, but it has more of an emphasis on the relationships you have with the world around you, which is the main difference between the two series. In Persona, rather than having a group of demons that you can summon, you and your allies fight against demons or shadows using the powers known as Persona, which are linked to you and your classmates. This series has gone on to be the lead pillar franchise for Atlas thanks to the success of Persona 5 and has also been a gateway for many new fans to experience the greater Megami Tensei franchise. Now I know some of you are just lining up that rage comment for me, telling me that sure, it inspired Persona, but Persona sucks, and the entire series is too... Well, let me cut you off there, because IF is also the reason why we have Devil Summoner, and it's as simple as because it took place within a modern setting. Yep, Atlas was done with the apocalypse and wanted to start on their detective drama. 
all so they could make the most important thing in the franchise, the live action Devil Summoner TV series. Not only did we get the glorious TV show, we also got more spin-offs, such as Soul Hackers, as well as the Raidu Kusunoha games, which are some fan favorite titles. Without the team producing the Shin Megami Tensei If scenario, we wouldn't have any of these titles, nor anything else they may have gone on to influence. Shin Megami Tensei If was the stepping stone which would ultimately change the way we saw Megami Tensei going forward. While we still have the main series games that we have all come to know and love, without this plunge into a demon infested high school, the franchise would look a lot different. The series might not have been able to accomplish what it has today, given the sheer popularity of the titles like Devil Summoner and Persona. I know for sure if Shin Megami Tensei If didn't exist, I wouldn't have known about the series due to Persona being the title that really put the greater Megami Tensei franchise on the map here in the West. You could say I owe this channel, your viewership, some of my friends, and of course the hours of enjoyment I've had to Shin Megami Tensei If which is why I personally believe it's so important to the franchise. Thanks everyone for watching another short video essay. I wanted to make it longer, obviously, because I'm a YouTuber on YouTube, but I find it really boring to try and drag these things out. Let me know what you thought or what your most important Mega Ten game is in the comment section down below. I will say, for the record, IF is not my favorite title in the series. If you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Now, with that all being said and done, my name is Resident Unleashed, the resident who wanted to unleash your opinion out into the world, and I will catch you all next time.